Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this scenario, we want to only allow text values in column A. And to prevent any other type of value, we're going to use a method called data validation. So I'm going to start by selecting the cells that we want to apply the rule to, A2 to A15. Then I'll go to the data tab on my ribbon. And then in the data tools group, I'm going to click on the data validation button. Now, in this allow menu, we can choose what type of rule we're going to create. And there is an option here for text length. So let me just show you why this doesn't work in our scenario. So text length, I might say, has got to be equal to five. So essentially five characters. So for example, if I wrote five Fs in there, it would allow it. But if I put a sixth in, it doesn't allow it. So you think, well, this kind of gives me that easy to go to rule for only allowing text values. However, if I was to type in numbers, it still allows the rule. It's only when I type in a sixth digit that it stops me or prevents me from actually using that value in that cell. So the text length also applies to digit length of the entry within the cell. So it's not really doing what we want it to do. So again, I'm gonna select the cells that I'm gonna apply the rule to, go back to data validation, scrap the rule that we're currently doing and go to custom. Now what we could do is in the formula box, we can use a function called isText. So isText is like a logical function. It returns true or false. True if there is text in the cell, false if there isn't. And essentially the rule that we set up within the data validation must return true or false. So isText is the perfect function uh, for our scenario. So all we have to do is say isText and then select the first cell within the range of cells that we're applying the rule to. Now I only need to select the first cell because this formula will get copied down to the other cells that I've selected automatically. Okay, now I can also specify an error alert for my rule. So I could say, please enter text values in this cell numeric values not allowed. Okay, click on OK. So let's see if this works. So if I type in hello, that works fine. But if I typed in a number, it won't allow it. So I've got to cancel and then I'd have to type in something again. So there we are. That's all you have to do. Using data validation, and I'll just remind you of the formula I used, it used the isText function, and that gives a true result if the cell contains a text value, and false if it doesn't. Okay, thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.